you're somebody who has no computer coding skills yet you're looking to start a small business or start a website for things like affiliate marketing or perhaps you're just looking to leave that nine to five job and pursue a talent that you have and you want to start a small business with it and you need that online presence to reach a wider audience and to grow that business this video has you covered because in today's video i'm going to be discussing the leading ai website builder and business platform for entrepreneurs to start and grow their business the name of the platform from that we're going to be using is durable and in this video i'm going to give you a complete walkthrough step-by-step -step guide on how to generate a complete website using ai under 30 seconds along with going in and completely customizing your website because i'm going to be doing my own website for this video all right step number one once on the durable website here in order to get started building your ai website just click the generate your website button here the very first question they're going to be asking you is what type of business are you building so you'll want to know the type of business that you're getting started with so that you can type it in here or the general area however they have a fun feature here that generates ideas if you're stuck or if you're needing help with that they also have here the drop down menu that will provide you with different options that are already in the system for me i found content creator which is really awesome i was super glad to see that a website builder was providing that for their options so i'm just selecting or inputting content creator because that's what i am and i would be happy to have a website of my own which i'm going to build for this video the next question says where is your business located now i don't know how important that is for you if you're doing an all online business like me but you can input wherever you want to input for that. And then the next question is, what is the name of your business? Now for this, again, they have the AI generated names that you can select. It's going to give you some ideas or inspo if you want. I'm just going to select Kimberly Mitchell because that's going to be the name for my website. From there, let's cue a timer because I really want to see how long this takes to create this website. And let's go ahead and select create. And while that took under 12 seconds to create this entire website, I have not seen another website that is that fast. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at these sections. So these sections are pretty amazing to have been built within 12 seconds, right? However, I really want to personally go in and personalize these sections and create a website to my exact liking. I want to add things like personal photos, personal info. I want to customize it to be to my liking. If after creating your website using the AI, you want to go in and customize too, watching this portion of the video is going to make it super easy and it's going to save you a lot of time. So let's go ahead and start out first things first with the color palette of your website. So by clicking this button here that says style, you can see that the first thing to pop up says color. Clicking that's going to give you some great color palette options, okay? And if you see one here that you already like, that's awesome. You can select it and use it. However, I want to show you another really cool option that I used that I'm going to use here for you guys to see. And it's by utilizing a free website called Coolers. Now they have millions of popular color palettes that you can choose from here. And then let me show you how easy it is to place that color palette onto your website. So after scrolling through here and finding a color palette that you like, that you want to see on your website, or you just want to try out, just simply click it. And then under the first section, paste it right into that box. That's going to give you an entire new background color. Like you can see, it totally changed it. And then the second one will change the color of the buttons and you can continue to go down. Now, if you find you don't like it, you can keep changing it to your liking. Okay, the next section you can work with is fonts. So this will customize all of the writing fonts on your website. So they have two options here. They have the fonts pack and the custom. I'm gonna be using the fonts pack. And as you can see, all you have to do is click on it and it's gonna customize the entire website for you all of the fonts on the website with just one click. So I personally like the serif style of fonts. So I'm gonna just be selecting the font pack that's called Noto Serif Display. And then already I can see with just those two edits, this is way more to my liking. Okay, up next is the button style. So these are the buttons on your website. The options are type, 
which allows for a solid color or outline here size and they have all the way from small to extra large and then shape which allows you to change it to square round or pill like shape here i'm just going to keep it with round i like the way that that looks and the last option under the style button is other styles that's going to allow you to change the corner size of your website which i'm not really too sure about so i'm going to leave it on this the animations of your website so how the features will come in go out how they're going to appear so for example sliding up fading in fading out and then how fast you want it to happen after i played around with it a little bit i like the zooming in and i like it to be slow so that's what i'm leaving it on and then the browser icon will display on browser tabs so for example this right here that is what pictures will show for that browser tab i'm going to be placing my logo here that i've uploaded from my computer into this and then that's going to be my browser tab. You can leave it blank. You can do it with whatever you want with that. And then from here, I'm just gonna save my progress. That way, none of this stuff that I'm currently working on gets lost. Every now and then, just make sure you go in and save it. So if anything happens, all of these changes won't get lost. The next thing I wanna do is go up here to the top and adjust this top section here, the header of the website. So I notice I don't really care for this image here. I'm just gonna delete that right here, this little graphic design. And then if you have a logo, you can upload it under image here and you can make that bigger or smaller depending on your liking. But after I did that, I put the logo there. I don't really think that's what I want because this is gonna be kind of for all my social media, both my channels, and I don't really want the logo to be the first thing they see because that's just for one of my channels. So I'm just gonna be changing that back to my name. And in order to add the social media links or tags to your header, I just click the back button here to where it says header. And right down here, it allows you to add social links. So you'll just select add channels, select your social platform, and then input your social platform link. And you can also add buttons like I have here, place your email or contact info for people to reach you. You can customize that to your liking, but this right here is where you would place that. Okay, the next thing that I noticed that I really wanna do is add in a section between my header and the next section, because I just kind of don't like how it just goes right into that. And I see here on Durable that they have tons of little things to choose from whenever you select add section. So after you select that, you can see they give you all of these options that you can display and put in a section. I think that's really cool. And I think for my channel and considering what I'm doing, I'm gonna select the video and then click it. And then it gives you this option to add your video link and then choose a header that you want people to see regarding that video. I'm gonna input here my latest home channel video and then as you can see also that I'm switching up the style of this section. So again, changing that color to whichever color you want. And then there's also another option that allows you to move the lettering to the center or to the far right, whatever alignment you prefer. Then I also really like they give you the option to have a divider style for like in between each section. So to really break it up, and I love that option. I really like it, I think it looks really sleek, but they also give you the option to add a border also, which I don't personally like, but it just gives you these nice professional looking options that are really easy to select yes or no with. You can also change the background behind the video. You can add a photo, you can make it blurry, you can change the color, whatever. After I played around with it here, I really like the look of a blurred photo. So I chose vibrant food photo with the Pixabay. I think it made it look a little bit better than just having a plain background. For this next section, I went ahead and just changed that photo that they had there because it wasn't really relevant. I wanted to put a personal photo there. So I just uploaded that on here. And then I'm gonna change this heading here to say Kimberly Mitchell, along with a little info about me, my channels. And then to customize the button, you can select button settings and add that external link. I'm just gonna be using a Google Drive file and I can input the link here. And then that section's done as well. Now really all you'll do from here is just continue to repeat the sections, update it to your liking, 
One thing I wanna point out is that if there's a section that you personally don't want, let's say you just wanna completely delete that section, like this section here, it's about pricing. Now that may be something that I utilize in the future, but for now, I don't really want it. So all you have to do is select the section and then just hit the delete button. And it's that easy, it's gone from your website. You don't have to worry about it from there. And then for the grand reveal, here's a look at my completed website that I just created with you all on this video. This website is beautiful absolutely amazing quality and really professional looking. And I have to say that this one was my favorite to work with. It makes everything super simple to actually go through, to customize to your liking, to make it how you want it, to add photos, to take sections away. All of that stuff makes it really simple to do. I am gonna place my completed website that I did with you all here in this video down in the description box for you to check out. Look how it looks on a mobile device. Look how it looks on the laptop or the computer. If you've fallen in love with this AI website builder like I have and you wanna build a website of your own, you can do so for free by clicking the link in my description box down below. And then when you're ready to publish it, you can get 30% off for your first three months of any plan by using this code here on the screen. I'm also gonna have it linked in the description box down below. Now, because I did this and I completely went through the whole process, if you find you have any questions, absolutely leave the questions in the comments down below. I will be more than happy to respond to you, to give you feedback. Maybe you have a question because you can't figure out where something is. Please leave it in the comment section down below. As always, thank you so much for your support and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.